Hello everyone. Welcome to Billy Holman Creations. This is Billy. Um, first of all, I want to thank you all for your nice compliments on last Sunday's video with the Victorian wall plaque in black. Well, I'd like to do another one. I found another tray. So I thought we'll do another one, but we'll do somewhat of the same concept but we're going to use possibly uh different different materials and since i've done it once now maybe i won't have to splice and dice and have this video go on and on and on since i have a better idea of what i'm going to be doing so with that first thing take my plaque and i've taped it off however what i didn't show you last time is we've got price stickers. Uh, this was originally $2 from Big Lots and I found it at the thrift store for 99 cents. First thing I need to do is remove these labels. Um, I tell you, I've watched a lot of videos and I, and I might be a little critical, but I'm thinking if you're making beautiful items and beautiful projects and putting the time into it, Take the price tags off, for goodness sakes. It's like giving a gift to someone. You don't want to leave the price tag on. But anyway, that's just a... That's just me, but... You know, who am I? I'm just a little crafter lady. Anyway, I found that... If you don't have Gooby gone... Acetate works great. And it was acetate I used on the last project to get the um, black paint off the back of the plaque and I just left it white. So I'll do this again. A little more acetate on here. Dob that on. And uh, I just keep my acetate in a little nail polish remover bottle so it's handy and I don't have to have the big can in here. But just because the first one came off easy, I was hoping this one would too. But it might take a little time. Um, I know you can use Gooby Gone and other removers. I just don't have any at the time. So I'm gonna, we're going to try it this way. I don't want to scratch it though. Gosh. Maybe I just need to get a little more, daub it a little better, get it wetter, get that off of there. Yeah, I, uh, I don't like seeing that. I see that a lot with uh, some of these DIY dollar store things. They just leave the price tag on or paint over it. Okay, there we go. Now... Before I take that out and paint it, let me tell you, I'm going to paint it with a uh, Krylon Glass Ballet Slipper. Pretty soft pink. There's your first clue. We're going very soft colors. Completely turn it around from the black. So I'm going to spray it with that really nice soft pink. And I've dug out different soap shop pigments that are quite soft. I don't know that I'll use them all, but we're going to go very soft, delicate, and pretty. I also have some ballet slipper from Just For You Online UK. Here's another pink, uh, baby pink. And then um, this is a shell pigment. It's like an off-white. I do have white. But I'm thinking I'll probably use this one, but if I change my mind, we'll go white. I also found an old piece of jewelry here with a soft pink bead in it. And uh, we might use that to decorate. But remember on the inside of the last one, I painted. We daubed, daubed the paint. I'm going to do it differently this time. Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations had sent me this big sticker. And if you open it, this is called Main Street Wall Creations Jumbo Stickers. 
And if you open it, you've got, actually it's a heart. It real, it's a shape like a heart. I love the beautiful rose. Um, the succulents we'll use for another time. But what I want to do is have a piece of this sticker inside rather than paint. So in order to get the size I need, I just took a white piece of paper. We're going to go on the back here. And I'm just going to take a popsicle stick. You could use a pencil. And I'm just going to hold it down and rub and find my we'll use this as a template Get the approximate size of that okay now I can see where I'm gonna cut that I don't know if you can see that on camera but I'm just gonna go around the edges press hard and there's my template for an oval now this template here for this edge if I turn it over is pretty close to the indentation of this area here so I think I'm going to cut this a tad bigger than the template maybe if I can check it out Let's see if I have to yes I'm gonna have to about oh maybe go I'm gonna go a quarter of an inch around the template and that'll just to be sure I have the right size and if I have to trim it up I have to trim it up so I'm just going to cut, I'm just kind of eyeball a quarter of an inch here, cut this out. I could have folded it in half and just made sure it was exact on both sides. Wasn't thinking there, but we'll just go around the edge and see what it looks like so far. I'm sorry if you see shadows. Um, it's nighttime here. I got a second wind and I wanted to get this started. Um, I felt kind of rough today. My back was really biting. And for some of you, you might know I broke my back in 2015. Was not was not a good deal. I haven't had surgery, but I'll tell you, when she bites, she bites. Plus, I went to the doctor last week and uh, she wanted to check my thyroid, so I had a few thyroid pills left and she said, well, just quit taking them till I see you next week. Well, I went and got my blood test done and I looked at the results. It says low or uh, underactive. I don't know what all that means, but anyway. So I was supposed to go this morning and get results and get a new prescription for these thyroid meds and they called me and canceled the appointment. So now I asked the gal to see if, you know, if I could go that long without my thyroid medication because the next appointment's in two weeks. So I don't know. I don't know much about the thyroid. And I think that'll fit us. That'll, we're gonna go with that. Anyway, long story short, they never called me today, so I don't know. Don't know what's happening there. Let me move that. Oh. Before I get to cutting on this, let me show you what else I found. I found some old lace. This is wide. It'll definitely need to be cut, but it's got a curve to it, so I thought that would be easy to maneuver. I found a string of beads or pearls or edging, whatever. Here's another bit of lace. Um, I think I'm going to spray paint the lace pink, too. 
and this is a trim which uh, depending on the color of the flowers we might use this or I might paint that too if I have to but once again back to these molds the roses I've got the rose molds out and I'll be dusting those with mica powders and then I had this little mold here with leaves butterflies we need to have a butterfly this time and here's some more small roses and you know when I've used these molds before I've said they were from Michael's in the condiment section and that's not right at all I I don't know what I was thinking I actually found these with the polymer clay so these are clay molds but resin works just fine so we're going to use a little of this and a little of that that's what I dug out Okay, now, let's see if I can't maneuver this sticker. Now, the heart obviously won't fit, and it's separated here like wallpaper where you would join it here. So, I might have to, well, first of all, let's just cut this whole thing out here. Whatever's left, of course, we'll save it and use it on another project. Let's cut this out. It's very pretty, but I just love that rose on there. It's going to work perfect. Perfect for this. These are pretty too, aren't they? Stickers. And the stickers go right up to the edge. There's no white bits hanging off. That'll be pretty for another project. And I don't know if these are on Amazon or not. I can look and see. If I find them, I'll put them in my storefront. So the soap shop is in my storefront, and so are the um, molds. All right, so what I'm thinking, this is silicone. Let me get a cleaner silicone mat. I actually, I actually have a new one. Oops. And, of course, it's buried, but let's get this one here. I have to move a few things, of course. Of course, of course. I thought I was ready. I do try to be ready for you all. Here's a pink one. Let's go pink. How pretty is that? That's our theme. That's bright pink. All right. What I'm thinking is I'm going to have to join these seams before... We do anything to this so if I can just maybe cut a little of this edge off right there get that out of the way or I could overlap it what if I just tear this off there we go I'm gonna tear that off there then, oh, isn't that pretty? Then if I just tear this off, whoops, don't need that it's sticking to me. I can, I don't want to remove it from the paper just yet because we have to draw template so I'm just gonna cut this as maybe just underneath a little bit so we have the sticky edge so let me just cut uh, three-eighths off how's that all right cut that off and now stand up it's wrinkled right there but we'll probably cover it if I can match this up where it's supposed to be just like that without a, that seam showing oh it's not going to stick to the sticky paper what am I thinking well all right let me just do this Until we can cut it and tear it off of this paper here, I am going to 
Tape it. Give us an idea anyway, right? Just tape that there. Bring it on down. Oh. And we can line it up when we're ready to stick it down. You know, I looked through Valentine cards today, too. I looked through old Valentine cards that had pretty fronts, and I thought, oh, maybe I could put a little Valentine card on here with pinks and whatnot or something. But then I thought if I did that, I'd have to laminate it, and I'm... I'm not wanting to laminate anything on this project. All right, let me just flip it. That'll give us an idea. So we can cut our template. So we might as well put the whole thing on the bottom of the plate and then we can cover what we want to cover just like that okay now what i definitely want is that we could go this way that's what i was thinking this way because i'm going to hang this too i'm going to have a wall hanging just like the other one so i want most of that rose I could actually go cattywampus, and that would give us more of, let's see, how would that look? That would give us more of the outer leaves, too, for a full background. Now, is that rose centered? I want, well, I want that rose kind of to the side, okay. Like that. There we go. All right, now I'm just going to grab a pen, since it's what I've got handy, see if it works, all right. And we're just going to go around, whoops, I can't see it. Yeah, I sure like how that wall hanging turned out, I'll tell you, I was so over, oh, I was filled with joy on that one. But I'll tell you, I had to slice and dice it so much because I had to cut so much out of it. It took over 18 hours to upload. And I'm having trouble uploading my subscriber winning video. But by this, by the time you see this, that will be up guaranteed. I, I don't know if it's our carrier. I think it's because it's so cold. It must do something to the dish or the satellite or something, but yes, we're going to go that way. That will be gorgeous. So let me just cut this out. Put a piece of tape down here. Wobbling around on me. And Wanda, thank you so much for this. This is beautiful. She sent several other large ones, too, that um, are going to be gorgeous in some projects. Get this cut out here. Ooh, where'd that go? I lost the line there. Leave it to me. Get that. I didn't get that. I thought I got that. Ah, there we go. It's very thin paper. Okay. There we will have our sticker. thinking about putting the pearls around this area here if I have room. I probably won't. I guess it just depends on how many flowers I put on. 
Okay, I'm not throwing that away because there's pretty leaves there too. Okay, so the premise is we will have this down, decorate our edge, put our beautiful resin flowers in. Okay, so that's ready to go. I'm going to take this out to the shop, spray paint it pink, and then I will get ready to dust some um, flowers. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, that is sprayed, but it's going to take another coat. We'll worry about that when we get uh, the lace on because I'm going to paint the lace also. So, thoughts on colors. I think what we'll do is bring the roses like we did before. Well, actually, we covered the whole thing, didn't we? But I'm going to bring the majority of the roses down here. Cover most of this up and then have a small trail coming up and leave as much of this pink as we can. So if I do the big rows, it's almost too big and it'll cover most of this area and I don't want that big of a rose there. But I'm just going to start. Let's find a pink. That's berry. Those are the same. I've got black sea and pistachio for the greens. And I'm going to do the leaves later. I learned about that. I have a muted clay and a pearl beige. I'm thinking I'm going to use a pearl beige for the center of the roses. Or I could use gold. Um, I'm thinking this dusty rose is going to be too dark. Melon, oh, I don't know. I should be doing a live so you could talk to me on this, but I'm thinking color wise. I don't know if these two, well, there's a difference there. Okay, there's a difference there. This one, let's look at this. This might be too dark. Or maybe if I had a couple that dark, we'd be okay. Maybe smaller ones that dark. I'll leave this one out. But I do want to have some off weight. So I guess there's really no orange in here. So we're going to eliminate the melon. That's kind of got an orange tint to it. So oh, dusty rose. Gee, the inside of that is kind of a dusty rose, but I think I would prefer this one. This is darker. Maybe we'll keep that dusty rose and eliminate this ballet slipper. So melon is out of here. All right, I'm, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to start dusting flowers. So I have, there's two roses here I'll use. Two roses here I'll use. Those are the medium size, but gosh, maybe I should make that big one just, just to have it. Hmm. I think I will do this big one and these two, but let's start. Let's start with these two. I've got two brushes. I've got this fine one that came with my chameleon powders and another soft one here. And of course, for the leaves, we're going to need some of these. And I meant to grab my Q-tips, which I did not grab. All right. Anyway, let's start. I'm just going to start. Let's start with this baby pink. Maybe we'll do two of each, three of each. Odd numbers, need odd numbers. So, da, da, da. toss up beige pearl. That'd be a nice rose though, wouldn't it? All right, I've got this spiced gold. And the reason I picked the spiced gold was in case that I use this piece of jewelry and I might have some other pieces of jewelry we could put in. I don't have cameos, 
but maybe one piece of jewelry. I'm just going to quickly... Ooh, that's pretty dark, isn't it? Oh, look at that color. Jeez, now I'm questioning myself. Okay, we're going to do it. There's only a few roses with centers. There's this one. There's that one. That's it. Okay, we'll just go with that one. Just have a, take a little bit of this and just blot the center. I still have some a little bit of pigments in here that I couldn't get all the way out from the chameleon powders, but I don't think they're going to show that badly, if at all. Yeah, there's just a little gold center. That will tie it in nicely. That looks like a daisy. We're not going to do that. It must be a daisy because that's a daisy leaf there. Just get that gold in. And I'm just going to probably fast forward as I get to dusting these. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start with a dark one here, the dusty rose. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. It looks pink, but it's showing up gold, for goodness sakes. Well, I might as well finish it, but that's a surprise. I know these have shimmer, but did I not wipe up my brush? But, God, they, that looks gold to me. We're just going to do them all. So I'll go ahead and pause you till I get to the leaves. Okay? Okay, I'm about to do some green, but I have to point something out. Uh, this is the crocus mold I used last week for fixing that little tiny plaque in the peaches. And they had this big flower here. I went ahead and grabbed the white and it's quite silver but I thought maybe we'd need some white. But what I really had to show you is I went ahead and used this darker pink, the uh, ballet slipper and I'm beginning to wonder if those pigments aren't kind of chameleon because look at the change in that. There's your gold. Can you see the pink? The pink is there, but it's more gold. Makes me wonder if we'll use that. Anyway, I did it anyway. And I went ahead and did more little, uh, the lighter pinks in the little roses here. Not sure what color to do the butterfly. So, um, yeah, before we get to the green, let me grab this little butterfly mold. I'm not going to go into detail on it unless I do that later. But, uh, yeah, because those are some fine details on there. I'm wondering if we should use this muted clay because I haven't tried that. That almost looks like this one, but... Oh, heck, we can do a couple. There's the... I didn't do the burrow. Uh, did I do the beige? Yes, I did the beige, and that's this one. Oh, hmm. I guess I did, but I don't know. Goodness, maybe we should do 
Should we add a little yellow and do a little... Let's grab a yellow. I've got a mustard yellow here. That's pretty bright. Well, it's more fluorescent, isn't it? I don't know if you want a yellow butterfly like that. I have this yellow gold we could do. Hmm. Gold butterflies. Do you see gold butterflies? No. I should have done white butterflies is what I should have done. Hmm. <laughs> let's do one mustard and the rest white and see what or let's try one of each and see what what suits us best okay am i rolling oh yes okay i have to speed a lot of this up for you and cut some out because i don't want the whole video about me dusting molds you see me over here Let's try this big one here. Oh, well, that's gold, 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 isn't it? It's a yellow gold. Let me just try all the colors and see what we end up with. I think I'll add a marker and do the highlights of the body. But for right now, it's going to be a solid color. Boy. Pigment goes a long way when you brush it on, doesn't it? Didn't need all that much. I'll try to get it in there. It's just thinner brush, maybe it'll go in. That's all right, we'll accent it anyway. Try a little of that. Let me tap this out. Try the yellow, but that looks neon to me. Almost a neon green. Don't have any other yellow. I'll try it. Yeah, that looks neon. Um, well, I already dumped it in there. Let's just do it. Bright yellow. Maybe that'll be our favorite one. Who knows? Um, kind of like it, but I don't know what it's going to turn out to be like. We need a pink butterfly. Should we do the dusty rose pink? Oops, I got yellow in that one. <laughs> Q tip. I did grab some. A little alcohol over here on that. Get that out of there. Yes, I thought I'd better get started on this one tonight. So it'll be set up by tomorrow since today was oh, kind of a tough day. You know, <laughs> God, there's a little blue in that picture. We might have to do a couple little blue butterflies. Where's the lightest blue I have? Let me just grab a soft blue. I have haze. Something with a little more purple in it this one. Ooh, that's too dark. Some dark ones. There's some pretty blues in here, though. I think we'll just stick with the baby blue looking one. Okay. A couple of blue ones right here. That'll be pretty. We'll use them on something. Ooh, whoa, that's got a purple to it. That does have a little purple to it. Look at the bag, blue haze. And I'll show you up close here. This looks purple to me. 
Anyway, I'm thinking with the white resin backgrounds, they should be pretty soft. Get it on there. I'll show you this here in a second. We didn't get enough. Too bad these didn't come in little tiny bottles. Then you could save your bottles and make them for jewelry. And I thought by the time you dump the bag into a little container, you're probably losing some of it. But let me show you this. God, this one might be a chameleon sort of powder too. All right, see, look at this. Bring it up, because this one, now I use the same color. This one looks blue, right? This one looks purple. Look at the difference. Maybe it's the mole doing that. <laughs> okay, Billy Hush, okay, we're on to green. We're on to green, and you saw me do green in the last one, so I'll just, Let's just try a green and check out the colors and see what they look like. We've got pistachio and black sea. Ooh, that'll be different. Not sure. I bet it, I hope it's not real dark green, but rose leaves are dark green. What did I use before? Oh, those were chameleons. Never mind. We're not going to do that. Let's try this. Get some on there first. Ooh, I don't know. Well, that's green. All right, we're good. I love these molds. Oh my gosh. I had to get them. I got to stop. I'm blown. I'm not getting ahead, that's for sure. I'm in the red, man. Oh, and that store I started up, I closed it. I just don't have the time. Um... Whenever you wanted another feature, they just charged you more. And I thought, no, I got a bit of a refund and I'm not doing that. I'll stick to my eBay store. So once I get more items on there, I'll go ahead and list my eBay store. It's, you know, they take a chunk of percentage sometimes, but... It's already set up. I know how to run it. I've got one page strictly for handmade items. If you look at the rest of the stuff, it's just, um, oh, I have some vintage things and just getting, getting rid of stuff is what I'm trying to do. Okay, there's those green leaves. And we don't need stems this time. Discovered that we don't need stems, but God, is that, that's a pretty green. I don't think I have anything darker. I better double check. Jeepers creepers. Oyster. Didn't I try that in the other one and it was kind of ugly? Sepia. That looks silver. No, nope. We're going with this one. Oh, duh. You know what? I'm not going to mess with those. We don't need light green on roses the black sea i'm not real happy with put that back just for you online uk all right this is a oh let's see teal jungle green oh is that too we're going it's in the picture we're going jungle green I might be sorry, but we're doing it. All right. I'm going to do all the leaves jungle green. So, I think I'll stop you here. Go with that. Let's see. I better try one. Because this is going to take a while to get into the small crevices of the... Gosh, that's shiny, isn't it? It almost looks the same as this, doesn't it? Let's see. I'll be darned. Look at that. Damn near the same color. All right. Well, that's what we're doing.
that's what I'm doing. So when I get the resin poured, and I'm going to use my, um, oh God, what am I going to use that's in the other room? I forgot the name already. I'll tell you then. I'll get the resin poured and, uh, or the resin mixed and the leaves done and I will catch up with you maybe this evening or maybe in the morning. Anyway, it depends. Catch you in a little while. Bye. Okay, everyone. Oh, let's see what we're going to do next. Well, I dug out this lace. Um, it would definitely have to be trimmed, but I don't think if we you know, if I just went around the edge, and we're only going to go halfway around. Um, if I cut it even, I don't think I could get it to, well, maybe I can. If I stretch it to let it lay flat, oh, I might be able to. Okay, well, that's, I didn't think I would. But I think I can. And I think I would like that better then the alternative I was thinking is if that didn't work to do this and we could still resin that down but it would have you know some form to it some texture to it um, and I want to spray paint these pink once they're on here our trim and then we'll resin over it um, I really can't make up my mind I could do two layers of this one on the inside, one on the outside. But would that make it too frilly? It's frilly versus this. And I think if I were to do this right, I could make it work. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. We'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, I can always peel it back up. So, I am looking towards my fabric tack. Okay, I had that upside down in a jar. Maybe I'll set it first and then trim. Let it dry real, real good and then we'll trim. But uh, this is the right side. Um, I think we'll just leave a seam. Might be able to gather it up a little bit here and then of course we'll put something I'll go I'll get to digging and put a little maybe God maybe buttons or I've got white shank buttons and uh, maybe a little bow we can resin over yeah all right let's see how far I can go with this first let's see if this is gonna work for me today is messy. I should get a piece of freezer paper. I'll do it on that. But we can just tack the tips. All right. We're on our way. I've got a big goober there. Boy, I'll tell you, I sure like how the black one turned out. Oh. So, I want to do a third piece for Valentine's. Try to group different projects in uh, groups of three. So, I need one more Valentine project to think about. If you have any ideas email me. <laughs> what would you like to see? Chances are good I've got most of the supplies we need for stuff like that. I'm not to tear. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Yes, Billy. I'm not going to have to stretch it too much. Look at that. This corner needs a little more. So anyway, Dusty is here today. He is 
working in my spare bedroom stripping wallpaper because my spare bedroom well it was actually an office our office that's what I'm going to convert what's under there oh the paint came off huh. um a craft room I'm going to stay out here in this back God darn it, I already did that one in the back porch here for my resin work because of the lighting but I get my craft room set up I can have my cricket up I can oh, it's endless and have all of my supplies in one room not just areas of my house if I wouldn't have messed up here and pulled up the paint we could have just left this cream color to match the flowers maybe oh I didn't tell you I mixed enough resin get this for all the leaves and the flowers except except the big one and that bumps me out a little bit okay I'm gonna go get my mom's good scissors and I'll be right back okay here we go mom's old Oh my god, these are old. My mom has had these scissors. I'm going to get myself some extra here. Um, since I was a little girl. So, uh, I've always taken care of these scissors. <laughs> Give me some extra for get go and I can trim it up better okay. now I want to stop about here and I want to be able to pull this. That, that dried pretty good, actually, right here. Okay. I think I'm just going to... Let's get rid of that. I'm going to ruin that. Start about here, right in this little rim. And we'll pull. You know, this is almost like a hot glue. You just go a little at a time. I have a few puckers. That's okay. Now I don't use my mother's scissors to trim this. It'll be full of glue. It's this little piece. Other scissors go. Get off of that. Yes. Yes, that will work. Alright, I've got a different pair of scissors. I have those. I have some yellow ones somewhere. There we go. Just how far do I need to go? I need the paper to there. Hi, Annie. Right around that. Ooh, it's a little short, baby. I could have waited, but I'll 
clean the glue off of these. I didn't cover this up. Hopefully not. Let's pull her down. I like it. I think it dropped off my fingers. <laughs> okay. And you should have came over farther on top here. I should have done. I'll just gather this up right here. Cover that up. Check this corner. be pretty with resin over it okay now I can't paint this until it's dry so in the meanwhile let's look at okay, two other um, alternatives or three possibly so I've got this upholstery edging here it's a beige and I'm thinking about somehow getting it in either in the lip or on the lip probably in the edge of the lip of it right there and then pretend that's pink too And I have these, where would I put the pearls? Up here, or is, they'd be better off inside. But I think I want to add the pearls and leave them this off-colored white. But if I was to get that on the edge, this here and these there. I think that would work because this would cover that inside up. I think I've got a silver trim. I don't want to do that. I'm going to look real fast. I think I might have some smaller beads on a string. I'll be right back with you. Okay. I have smaller beads, gold and silver, and they're smaller, and if I was to use them, I would have to place them and paint them too. I probably will, but before that, I think I want to have this second ribbon under here and then the small beads and maybe the trim. That'll give us so much more texture. So let me glue that down. I'm going for it. I'll go about here. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today, everyone. Tell you, I'm having a good time. So thank you for watching, and if you do like this uh, video, please hit that like button, share with your friends, and if you ring the bell, you can be notified as to when I put up another video. But I'm trying my best to keep, you know, keep it to Sundays. That's was my goal. There's something in here. Something's on there. It's a shadow. Oh God, that's why. 
Which is this good side? This side. And I thought I saw a string. Nope. Alright, I'm sitting down. Oh, what am I sitting on? A cat. Cat, Annie. Well, you can't be there. Jeez, I almost squished her. That's going to give it more dimension because obviously the flat just looked flat. So, ixnay that. Oh, so I was talking about what to tackle after my Valentine's videos. Oh, I did say you could email me if you'd like. If you have any ideas. I'm thinking towards... I'm thinking towards peacock feathers. That's what I'm thinking. There's a lump there. What's that? Oh, fold. Um, peacock feathers. Maybe a uh, resin tray with posters to match. Or, I have one idea that would be pretty intricate and kind of up my alley. So that would be, um, I was just talking to Dusty about that today. What I'm thinking of is taking a large picture frame, uh, mounting the background with real peacock feathers and then under the glass that would be under the glass and then over the glass I would take my outliner pens and do a like a embroidery peacock embroidered and then paint it that's a thought don't know don't know, but posters and trays is always an option. Um, what else was I thinking? Peacock. Oh, I've got a plan for my carp fish too. So it's, it might be that. I guess it depends on mood. What I'd like to be able to do is just get more resining and artwork done in a day to where I could get ahead a little bit on my videos. So, oh, and I hope you liked my little hairbread video for this last Wednesday. Did that sitting in bed one night watching YouTube? <laughs> All right, now. We might as well keep going. Might as well keep on going around this edge. Oh, you know what I, else I was thinking for um, Valentine's? Give me a yay or nay if you'd like to. Um, okay, remember that Halloween, those Halloween ghost fish in a bag I did that didn't turn out? <laughs> yeah, they didn't turn out. Um, I want to do a red goldfish or maybe paint a goldfish with white with red hearts and do a little valentine fish in a bag. So that's another, th I need to write this stuff down, don't I? Oh geez, I need a secretary. But uh, yeah, I was thinking of that too because I've got the fish, I've got the molds. I've got the deep pour resin. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts. I was watching Claire's latest video, Claire's Crafty Corner, and uh, oh my god, she's got everything she's doing, and I think she had two months worth in. In, a, in calendars of day by day. That woman's got it together. Hi Claire, we've not met, but I do adore you.
That looks good. That looks really good. So I'm not going to put the pearls on. Or the beads. I might look through my beading stuff and maybe I can find some off-white pearls. Beaded pearls and then just do a string of them. I'll just glue it down. But it leaves them the the color, the off-white. Oh, that's going to be awesome. There, this is so pretty, you guys. And and I'm into using up scraps because you've seen my... Have you seen my all my supply nooks and crannies? Probably not. It's almost shameful. Is this going to stay? I need a little more glue here. All right, it's a little, I have to do some adjusting to make it look pretty. I started high there and then got lower here. So I'm gonna have to lift that up a little bit, that curve. There's a wrinkle there, I'll get rid of that. Okay, whew, yeah. Now, well, let's hope I can cover that. There's that. All right. I'm going to clean my hands. I'm going to go ahead and take this to the shop and paint it all ballet slipper pink. Okay. I'll see you in a little while. Good morning, everyone. I'm back. Let me tell you what I've done. Um, I went outside and spray painted uh, the tray pink with the lace on it. Um, this trim here, you know, which was that tan colored, I went ahead and mixed up a color, a couple of colors here, a um, pink rose and a peach to try to drown out that tan colored so that's all I did that I didn't show you and before we finish off the tray and get ready to resin let's see what those flowers look like um, I hope they're kind of this pink or they're not you know too off base so let's see what we've got here I'm rather anxious Here's all our moles. And I had just enough resin to do these, but I did not have enough to do the big one. Darn it. So I'll pour that when we pour the resin in the tray and then we'll see what color that turns out to be. So here we are, I might as well pull this one out. Let's get them out. Yes, I'm excited. Leaves, well, leaves are leaves. Let's see what color they are. Oh, there's some light and darks. Here's the darker ones. You know, that'll work. They're light, they're pastel. So, that's leaves. We have plenty of those. All right. Let's look at the butterflies. Here's that bright yellow one we did that looked neon. And that's, well, that's pretty. It's a nice yellow. It's got a little bit of speck on it from, I guess, a dirty mold. But, so we've got butterflies. That's a pretty. Can't remember what color that was. Another. Oh, that's a different color. Jeez, I forgot all the colors we tried. But uh, pink? I'm afraid this pink is going to clash. If that's the baby pink or the uh, ballet slipper, I, gosh, I think that's going to not blend very well. But we'll see. Now that one, it's 
kind of a blue, light, light bluish silver. So that's that. Okay, let's get, let's get to these. Okay, there is our lightest pink. <sighs> Thought it might not stand out all that well, but we'll get our background picture on. Yeah, we'll make it work. There's another one with the gold inside. Very, very subtle pink, isn't it? Very soft. Here's the white. Oh, I've got a green speck there. That definitely, definitely needs to be cleaned up. So that's what the white looks like behind the leaves versus the green behind the leaves. So, hmm. I guess we'll see. All right, big one here. There's the white. That's very pretty. I like that. And the leaves will get later. What else do we have? Oh, come on, you. There's the pink. That's so pretty, isn't that? Very pretty, very pretty. So I'm going to have to go and trim these. Oh, there's a darker pink. Before we go any further, I just wanted to demold these because I was so excited. Quit singing when you talk, Billy. What are we going to have? What are we going to possibly have here for kicks and giggles? What are we going to have? Hmm. Oh, we might need a darker background because of these being so late. Heck. Well, you know what? We've got a clue. We've got a clue. See what we can do with it. I might have to paint these a little bit. We'll see. All right. I'll be back in a little while. See you then. Bye. You know what? Here's a quick heads up. Um, this outer pink isn't going to work for me. So, while I'm cleaning up flowers, I'm going to... <laughs> we're going to spray paint it all over again, and I'm going to do white. Yes, we're going to make it white or see if I can't tone this pink down with some spray paint. That's the plan. See you in a little while. Thanks. Bye. Hello, everyone. I have a quick update. Um, I did clean all of the flowers. I uh, got the edges cleaned. I put white on the tray which um, really toned it down and I'm so glad I did that. It toned down that pink. Um, I do like how the paint has kind of lodged itself into the lace and I think because my shop was cold, my paint was cold, I have a crackle finish here. Um, we're gonna cover that up but it's it's on the sides here so that that'll be really pretty. Now my dilemma, here we go, here we go. Um, the light pink flowers are pretty pale. Even if I lay them on our insert here, they're pretty pale. Um, these turned out okay. I um, went ahead and I took some clear polyacrylic and I painted all the flowers because we want to get rid of that matte and have a shine because the resin is all going to be shiny. So I did that. I also went over the leaves with some clear polyacrylic too to give them the shine. So the colors came back through except the green where I put the white background. That's pretty pale. So what I'm going to do is I mixed up a little polyacrylic 
back to our jungle green pigment made up a little paste and I'm going to try I might need that darker I'm going to try to darken these up a little bit so that's what I'm going to do next um, the gold centers aren't real gold I might darken them up a little bit the butterflies are cute. I'm going to have to uh, figure out which butterflies I'm going to use and then highlight the, uh, you know, the decoration in the wings. What else? Yeah. It's the green leaves I need to fix and possibly mix up some pigment with the polycrylic and darken these pinks up. So that's where I am right now. I'm going to continue on. So... In the morning, I can pour the base layer over our sticker, give it some depth, then we'll have to let that cure and proceed with finishing off the tray. So thanks for your understanding. Um, you know me, I, I guess I, I, I wanna things, make things better than what they sometimes turn out like. So anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you then. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm back. Um, I was able to tone down this pink. I might have said that just a minute ago, but this is a new part of the video. Um, I was able to tone that down some. Now I'm ready to put the sticker on. I did have to trim this edge a little bit to have it fit flush with the uh, bottom edge of this tray. And I made a bit of a mistake on this side because I didn't bring this trim all the way down where I should have. And now I have a gap here. I'm not quite sure how to deal with that. Um, my thoughts were these beads because I found smaller beads this is an old, old necklace I found smaller beads I don't know how that'll look but I do need to cover that gap so it looks like I'll be using it anyway let's get this sticker put in and then I'm gonna mix my resin it is heating in a warm water bath as we speak and get this tape off And then I got to thinking, I said we were going to make, do something a little different with this tray. And actually, the only thing different about it is using a sticker versus painting. And I, I should have mixed my micas in resin and poured the flowers. That's what I might have should have done, but that would have been a different take on things. And I was able to uh, paint over the flowers with some polyurethane and I did darken up those light pinks. So I'm happy with that. And now if I can set this in correctly. See this gap right there? Oh, you can't see. That's what I'm talking about. This here. Bummer but we'll go with it not turning no turning back so let me peel i've still got tape there oh come on billy get this one off and in place Can find <laughs> oh gosh where that's gonna fit just right that's gonna have a gap too because the stickers cut out I'm just gonna get right up to that edge right there oh I had it I had it oh it's sticking to my fingers I had it for a second 
standing up trying to look through the camera too. Let's hope, let's hope that's it. Get this bottom piece on. match that up the best I can. There we go. Oh no, not quite. I moved it somehow. Got to get a little closer here. All right. Oh, I could have come down a little there and pull it up again. So I'm going to mix up some resin and I'm using my, um, what did I say it was? <laughs> it's in the other room. I can't remember from one minute to the next. Um, anyway, I'm going to mix my resin up. Oh, and I can't move that now. I'm over right there. I'm going to mix it up. I'm just going to put a thin layer on here so we can have depth. So when I get back to you after that cures somewhat or at least gets tacky, um, we'll finish off with the flowers. Or wait, maybe... I need to hot glue that in. All right. This video is going to be long. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this down. I think we absolutely must have it. Then I'm just going to pour my resin over the edges. Have it draw down into the center. Level itself out. And then we can proceed. Okay, I'll get that done and be back with you shortly. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, oh my goodness, I'm running on a little late on this one. I'm going to try to upload it tonight. It's Saturday morning already, so hopefully it'll set up and I can get some good pictures. All right, I have the first layer of resin down to give us some depth, and the pearls are set. So all we need to do now is add the flowers. So forgive me but I'm going to turn this this way so I can actually see I've mixed up two-thirds a cup of um, goodness, Diamond Clarity by Naked Fusion I said this is a, a new resin for me I'm trying and if you can suggest your favorite resins Please let me know. Um, where are our flowers? I kind of laid them out here to the side. Let's see what I'm going to do. A few bubbles in my resin. Let me just torch that real quick. Ta -da. Oh, I like this thing. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Now, I didn't get any problems with bubbles here um the little crackle finish you can barely see it on the side here but it's there um i had a hard time finding something to you know put in these corners here or the ends of the lace but i'm just going to use some of the flowers we made so let's start this off i just want a little resin just enough to hold them down. I don't want to go over them and I don't want them to go that deep as uh, they did on the black one. So I am just going to, just a little bit at a time. Oh, where's my little spatula thingamajigger? I know I cleaned it. Here it is. I'm just going to spread a little at a time here. 
and uh, try it that way. And I am using my leveling uh, table, which is a godsend for me, I'll tell you what. It really is nice having it. So I'm going to start with, if I have enough resin, our big white rose here. And we can still move them around. Let's get some more down. Let's go ahead and get some more down so I don't have to fiddle around. I just dropped resin on my flowers. Dang it. With my right hand. Let's see if I can spread that out a little bit. It's just going to be our glue. Still want to be able to move them around. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Let me know what you think. There we are. There we are, everyone. Bring you down a little bit and then bring you up a little bit. So when this is set, I'm gonna put the alligator hanger on the back. Look at how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? I can bring you up a little bit. Look at how that lace turned out. Love it. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. I sure appreciate it. And uh, let me know if you like this one or the black one better. Or about the same. Have a good afternoon. Take good care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Well, it's nighttime here and I finally finished this. So I hope you can see how pretty it is without the glare. It's the best I can do tonight. Let me bring you up into this pink one. I put a little gold trim on the outside. I have the hook on the back. It turned out really, really pretty. So pardon the lighting, but I've got to get this video on for you in the morning. Anyway, I hope you like it. Oh, I thought it's gorgeous for a little butterfly. It'd be beautiful in a little girl's room, wouldn't it? All right, everyone.